All right, today we're going to be covering lesson 11 4 on recursive formulas. We're going to split this into three separate sections. We're going to cover our intro and number one. We're going to cover question number two, and then we're going to cover questions seven through ten. Let's go ahead and take a look at our introduction. It says, in a sequence, the term before f of n r equals a n is f of n minus 1, which is equal to a sub n minus 1. The first four terms of the toothpick sequence can be written as a1 equals a, a2 equals a1 plus 6, a3 equals a2 plus 6, a sub 4 equals a3 plus 6 are 14, 20, and 26. If we wrote this as function notation, we would write f of 1 equals 8, f of 2 equals 14, which is equal to f of 1 plus 6, f of 3 equals 20, which is f of 2 plus 6, f of 4 equals 26, which is f of 3 plus 6. So it's taking that previous number each time and adding 6. There's a math tip off to the side that says, in a sequence, f of n minus 1 equals a sub n refers to the term before f of n. In item 1, item 1 is asking, for any value of n, how can you find the term before f of n? So let's take a look at number 1. It says, for any value of n, how could you find the value of f of n minus 1? which equals a sub n minus 1? Well, what is the 1 in this case represent? In our case, it represents the common difference. So we would take what we have and subtract the common difference. from a sub n. On to your next set of information, 